developments in the Richmond Hill trial, a setback for the defense as they try to shoot down the credibility of the prosecution's star witness. Montserrati Shirley will now testify on Wednesday. Cause 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez just finished talking to the lead prosecutor in the case. Rafael. We can now confirm that Montserrat Shirley is already in South Bend. She will testify on Wednesday. We've also learned that Mark Ray Leonard's sister will take the stand tomorrow. Tonight, the case ready to connect Mark Ray Leonard to the crime. More boxes with evidence rolled into the courtroom on day 13 of the Richmond Hill trial. Lead fire investigator Lieutenant Mario Garza shared with jurors that natural gas was intentionally released into the home that exploded. In that debris, he found multiple sources that could have triggered the blast, from candles to a microwave with a metal cylinder. Before the day began, the judge handed the defense a setback. They wanted to make the jury aware of a past extramarital affair between the prosecution's star witness and a doctor. They said that Montserrat Shirley had been blackmailing a doctor while she was married. The intent of the evidence to raise questions about Shirley's credibility before she testifies against her former boyfriend, Mark Ray Leonard. Her testimony is a piece to a puzzle. As the court has made aware, you know, these charges were filed before Montserrat Shirley ever decided to cooperate with the state. So we felt we had a case to go forward with prior to that, well prior to that. Um, but as I indicated at the time that she accepted the plea months ago, um, she certainly provides some inside information that we believe is important for the jury to know. Back live here in South Bend, Montserrat Shirley is not testifying out of the kindness of her heart. As you may recall, she signed on to this plea agreement back in January of this year. She has to testify against her former live-in boyfriend, Mark Ray Leonard, his brother Bob, and two other men in an effort to get a cut in her jail sentence. She won't know her sentence until all the trials are over. Now, coming up on the news at 7, what the prosecution told Montserrat Shirley she must do on Wednesday. We'll have that part of our interview coming up at the top of the hour. Live in South Bend, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.